All right, what up everyone? We're checking out the band Yes for the first time. Thanks to a kind, generous donation by Rick. Rick, shout out to you, brother. We're checking out a song called America. And it seems like, you know, that's appropriate with election day. Hey, comment down below who you're voting for. I'm just kidding. So Rick, thank you so much. Apparently I have to check out the remastered version. This will be my first exposure to the band. Yes, they seem to have been pretty successful. An English progressive rock band. They won a Grammy, nominated to several Grammys, have gone through tons of different band members. I'm excited to check this out. And you know what? To all of you guys helping me in my with my journey with also classic rock now, we've gone through several, right? People walk me through like the Tool catalog, Country, now here with the classic rock. It's been a great source of uh, conversation at work. There's actually a very high chance that my boss and my boss's boss are watching this. Hey, everyone, comment down below. Shout out to, we'll just say their first names, Murray and Joe. But we talked about this band and several other. My boss boss, Joe, is like, He's like friends with folks in Leonard Skinner and geez. So I just want to thank you all. Like I'm so lucky of how many in how many different ways this channel enriches my life. And with that, before we we hit play here, wanted to thank you all to to all of you who have sent us. Uh, we're expecting our third kid. We thought we were done with two. We threw away all our baby stuff. We we didn't think we well we weren't sure if we could have them. So anyway, a lot of you have helped us out with baby stuff, and it just you guys are way more generous than I am. Generosity and charity, I don't think count unless it feels like a sacrifice, right? So to all of you who are doing that, thank you. You make me want to be a better man. So let's move this camera over here. We're going to listen to this. I'm going to put on actually my in-ear monitors who are also a sponsor of the channel, Weststone Audio. Use the code SEBSDURAN10 at checkout. You can get 10% off for perhaps some of the best, mind you, it's an investment, but for some of the best uh, listening experiences you will have. So yeah, the code is in 10 at checkout. Uh, check out the link down below. And if you just want to support the channel, check out um, all the links and all the all that other fun stuff down there. Because this is 10 minutes long, I will try to keep my pauses to a minimum. As a reminder, they are mandatory pauses. Okay? Anyway, let's roll it. This is pretty fu- This is complex. What? This is trippy, bro. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, one, I, is it my mate? Did I put something in here? I feel like I'm tripping out, bro. Okay, polyrhythms, complexity. I'm actually here for it. This isn't like an easy listening. I'm going to just sit down and throw this song on because it's like, but I can't appreciate this. If anything, um, again, one of my favorite bands, and it's because of this channel, is the band Tool. They do a lot of polyrhythmic, complex stuff. Um, I can see this as being part of, you know, the inspiration behind this sort of style. Also kind of reminds me of that experience I had listening to The Doors. This is more complex than that, way more, but anyway.
I don't know who I want to listen to. Big fan of Arpeggio, so this, this is cool. Let us be lovers, we'll marry our fortune together. That was fire, bro. That was cool. Look it up the lyrics while we hear, listen to this. Oh, yeah! Wait. The song is complex as all get out, dude. This is song is a cover from a Simon and Garfunkel song? What did I just say? A Simon and Garfunkel song? I might have to check out the original. Laughing on the bus, playing games with the face. Beautiful. She said the man in the Gabriel suit was a spy. I said, be careful, his bow tie is really a camera. This is like 50 different songs in one, dude. What the freak just happened? This is awesome! <laughs> There is so much talent in this. That's a that's a telecaster for sure. Listen to that twang. Ugh. This is far. Let's break down here. They're getting like the tone of like country America right here. 
Maybe that's what the song's about. It's a journey through America? <laughs> Dude, there is so much happening. I don't know if they'll be able to like analyze the song. It's gonna take like, I don't know how many listen throughs. They have all gone to look for America. You got all these groups of people. The twang there was uh, like perfect in, in terms of whatever they were trying to say. Cause it's not like about immigrants going through. Okay, this is a Simon and Garfunkel song. I feel like I'm going through a road trip to find my home through America. So I've heard all different styles of American music in Yes's rendition. I, I should have checked out the original to see what they were trying to evoke with the complexity of the arrangement. But that's what I'm feeling. I could be totally wrong. I, I don't know if I'll be able to like analyze the song, but so let's just focus on the feeling here, right? And the, the feelings that you get as a listener, especially your first time, I'm feeling like I'm traveling through America and it's awesome. Big fan of this place. I feel like I'm getting like more like Southern rock here. How do you play this song without sheet music? <laughs> yeah. They're talking about the New Jersey Turnpike, so it like is a road trip song. They're looking for America, the American dream. They're not experiencing it, so they're going to look for it. Sorry, I was trying to rewind it and I rewind, rewind it a little too much. Their voices, especially when they're harmonizing, they sound Great. That sounds great, man. Yeah. This is one song. What is happening? <laughs> I'm like starting to like get hot. I think it's my drink too, but. I feel like I'm watching TV right now. Oh, 
Uh, the title of, the, of this video is going to be, I don't know what just happened. All I know is that I had a great time, bro. <laughs> Jeez, what was that? Flip this over here. That was awesome, dude. Just move my hat back here. Um, I loved it. Um, that is uh, all I can think of. Musicianship, man. The musicianship was unbelievable. Freaking fantastic. I loved it. Like, the, I'm inspired by the musicianship more than anything. That's what I'm taking away from that. I think there's a lot of symbolism in the song intentionally. That's what I'm taking away. Would love to hear your guys' thoughts and comments. But I love when music does that. When it feels like I am listening to freaking Mozart describing something with music, I feel like they were describing this road trip. I, I feel like that's clearly what the song's about. The song was written and composed by Paul Simon and concerns young, lo young lovers hitchhiking their way. Weird how you can't do that anymore. In search of America in both a literal and figurative sense. I feel like I nailed the meaning right on the head. I'm going to be proud of that. It was inspired by a, by a 1964 road trip that Simon took with his then-girlfriend, Kathy Chitty. Hmm. I need to listen to the original song, I think, but with, how many, uh, with the symbolism in Simon, uh, Paul Simon's words of finding this figurative America, which, that, you know, that hits home, they then did that with the music, and I love it. And I loved it. Now, am I going to perhaps go back and revisit the song a lot no because it's so complex i can if i if i sit down purposely to admire musicianship which i do like to do many times that that song's up there bro that was impressive i'm very impressive band very very impressive band but it's not easy listening so in my mind what are your guys thoughts comment down below why did you want to hang out with me for this one please let me know but nonetheless guys thank you so much for doing so and we'll see you all soon. Godspeed.